Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco F3 I am in the Mi 11X or Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews here I back with a MIUI custom ROM it's very smooth stable enough and how is the BGMA gameplay what all the benchmark results is it a MIUI dialer and what all the things we get in the UI what all the benefits we get is there any battery draining pump everything will be told in this video i mean be explained in this video you have to stay tuned till the end of the video in order to note all these points by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video The version is very simple here, you already known in the title and thumbnail. This is MIUI Dove Punk Aerodynamic version 14.0.7. This is you can see Elliot in and the build date is 23rd 9 2023. I'm in the September 23rd and maintain a name and the group chat. You can directly go from here. If I go into all specs, it has recognized as Mi 11X and RAM. I have to use virtual RAM up to 5GB. It's given Android version is 13 here. And security patches uh, June 1 that's how it is and 2023 latest security patch yeah it's kind of and the kernel user is 4.19.157 of kernel has been used hardware version is 6 here internal storage almost it's 112 GB was out and device activation you can check out from here if you want to see that and legal information status you can check out from here this is about version on bluetooth everything is working fine you might get a update here if you use it uh, more than a one day you will get an update updated then the bluetooth uh, earphones or earbuds or the neckband going to work fine in my opinion wallpapers and customization you get plenty of wallpapers the current one i really liked it you can see here yeah this how the current wallpaper looks like i really like this kind of wallpapers those are pre-installed in this particular rom there is even an always on display which is also working fine if you want you can keep them always let's try that yeah double tap to wake is given as you can see this is how the always on display looks like it is working fine you get a uh, certain options here if i can go to the yeah you can keep it uh, just for 10 seconds or else if you want to keep it always you can do that even you get a scheduled option also and if you want you can disable that once the battery saver is turned on those kind of options are also given here you can even choose custom image those things you guys already know it's similar to any of the other custom rom i mean the miui based rom it's similar to that and wallpaper as i said before these things you don't get it uh, super wallpapers and you need to manually install the apps there and we have 14 wallpapers and neon circles dark uh, i mean the daft punk the other wallpapers you can see on the skin those kind of wallpapers are given here themes again it will revert back to themes fonts again there is a me sans pro also if you want you can disable them you can increase or decrease the text and effects also you get plenty here starlight effect once you get any notification you need to enable them those things are given in the wallpapers and again always on display and lock screen again sleep time you get up to 10 minutes here double tap to wake now it will work no it's not working double tap to wake or turn off screen when device is locked okay and display again you get a dark mode i mean dark daft punk mode dark it is and light mode scheduling it is also given anti flicker mode brightness level reading mode again you get a two options here reading mode and you can schedule them color scheme i kept to saturated and adaptive colors is given and you get all the advanced settings too in this particular rom i keep it warm little bit if you guys like it you can keep it cool or keep it uh, default also and refresh rate you get up to 120 hertz you can manually select 90 also i keep it to default in order to uh, refresh adaptively ai image engine you get super resolution option ai image enhancement all these things you can turn it on it will not make any huge difference the super resolution but this one the memc will make difference in order to see the motion 
of any pictures and video then you need to enable this in my open hdr enhancement is also given this is the display settings and sound and touch settings you get plenty of options here profile videos for incoming calls sound effects is given dolby atmos is given and preset is also given and graphic equalizer is given if you don't know anything to do just increase everything to that this is one type of preset if you want you can manually do that and harman kardon will it make any difference i will be using this earphones with dongle mostly not with a bluetooth headset or anything like that i did not face any huge difference but having this option makes a little bit of premium in my opinion at least to showcase anyone this is all the sound effects and profile videos and haptic feedback strength here you can adjust them other things as you can see additional settings those things are given here it's not a problem here home screen you can see animation this entire uh, settings going to be something different than any MIUI rom a little bit red theme has been applied and system navigation again i noticed one thing that MIUI vn edition 14.0.3 and MIUI Q edition 14.0.6.0 has little bit smoothness compared to this ROM in entire UI I am speaking and arrange items and recent again you directly get iOS style and some of the customizations you can see on the screen you can customize to next level for recent apps here and other things remains same here even icons and all I really like that VN edition that you even change the quick settings panel here that's simply missing here this is how the quick settings panel you get simple enough nothing fancy or nothing uh, great here it's simple this is how the UI this is an app drawer you can customize them I mean you can group them and this typical home skin you get those options too widgets and I edit icon option is given even for a folder you can edit them as you can see those things you can do from here that's how it is and moving into camera here you get 2x 0.6x all things are working fine even the macro mode is also working fine this is an Leica build camera HDR options all those things are given what I really liked is a uh, video and you get a 8k supports and it will not uh, make any problem that's really good 8k support the video quality is also a little bit better in 8k what i observed maybe it's upscaled one we don't get any uh, what i can say it's not a native feature for me 11x but still the 8k video makes a little bit of difference in my opinion as you can see you get all the options like teleprompter and a camera subtitles uh, moving tracking object and audio zoom feature is also again super macro movie frame grid lines those things are given in the photo also you get plenty of options here tilt shift pro color voice shutter palm shutter movie frame dynamic shots time burst those things are also included in this particular rom i mean the camera application that is fine here and ai is also given Mo most of the features have been added in the camera that what i want to say here the quality is also good you also get these features you can edit those things also and now moving into some of the uh, benchmark results starting with the geek bench score you can see 1307 is the single score and 3499 is the multi score again you can see this is the links 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used in this particular rom and this is 100 threat test guys this is the result you can see max was around 331 million JPS and average is 246 and minimum is 193 million JPS there is red and yellow lines after certain period of time it's for 15 minutes you can see on the screen there is throttle going on in this particular room I also noticed uh, initially but right now it's not that much uh, visible I mean experienced here and this is the score i got in the android benchmark 7,60,613 and temperature raise was 2 degrees celsius and battery drop is just 4 percent during this entire testing of the android benchmark result these are the settings available and uh, let me show this one the charging animation yeah there is a 33 watt charging support is given this is simple me turbo charger uh, support you can also see charging rapidly in the downside of the screen and let me show you the fingerprint unlock yeah it's quick here the sounds are also a little bit different to any other miwi based roms now let's see the face unlock yeah as you can see again let me lock it yeah 
it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock those are going to work fine in my opinion and uh, let's show some of the other things yeah this is the recent apps ios style if want you can make it horizontal or vertical and even ios style also and moving into safety and status it will get passed if you want to root that you have available the new magix version you can try that if it, other things are working fine then you can try that and let me show you the internet connection i am using uh, wi-fi connection here currently uh, up to 100 mps internet connectivity connectivity issues those kind of things haven't faced even with mobile data connection it will work fine with geo 5g is working fine if you haven't enabled it the 5g you know how to enable that use the latest firmware then it will be easy uh, flashing method is also very simple i was in mio vn edition directly i flashed this using the latest firmware 14.0.7.0 global one use the same that's how it is and this is the uh, ui and everything and drm information obviously you get a level 1 certified such that you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution screen record option is also given if i go into settings frame rate up to 164 is given which is really good video quality is also up to 100 mps and here only 1080p resolution is given and regarding screen recording this is the option and security application is updated here not much of a difference but it is the latest one you get in this particular ROM and moving into battery again you get a performance balance and save battery modes here you can also see the graph from here other things you can see in this screen and boost speed other things find your tabless block list data usage automated task these are the things if you want to fix that you can do but it will prompt to some other options to enable directly and mere dollar you get with proper uh, what i can say the call recording feature without announcing the other person those things have been implemented in this particular room i hope so explained everything let's open the game from game turbo mode the vgmi what are the graphic settings obviously we get that start playing this are the graphic settings you get smooth plus 90 fps even ultra hd option is also given in this particular rom this how it works actually let's see how it handles actually it's very smooth actually you can see even the gaming mode new version you get options to increase saturation and brightness both also you can do on screen command settings you can go it from here you can directly take screenshot from here also you can record the from here other things you can use the multiple apps from here you can see the real time fs but uh, the smoothness in the ui is next level in terms of game i am speaking i mean in the settings panel and all uh, it's not that much smooth compared to mio vn and mio q edition maybe it takes time as of now after one day of usage i found the ui is little bit um, smooth in vn edition only not this one but in the game it's really really smooth you can just see how smooth this one i'd have kept the other uh, mode this one i have just without magazine Oh, finally I got a kill. That's how the gameplay here in this particular ROM. It's really good. The ROM is, you get all the features. The UI could have been a little bit smoother. I'm just uh, telling it's a net picking. It's not that much smooth, but it's still smooth compared to the uh, AOSP ROMs, this is really smooth, but MIUI VN edition have some advanced features and customization that's simply missing in this ROM. But overall, it's a great ROM if you want a very good gaming ROM in terms of MIUI. I mean, in kind of 
MIUI then you can look out this particular ROM everything is working fine here you get all the features here even memory extension up to 5 GB is available and this is the review of Mi 11X uh, Drift Bank edition of the MIUI it's really cool anyhow we are not getting MIUI VN edition latest version since we can switch to this kind of uh, versions aerodynamic MIUI Drift Bank edition hope you guys liked this video if you like it give it a like and if you still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below guys we will be meeting with another interesting video until that make sure you subscribe to my channel until that keep smelling bye bye for now